everyone. We are going to talk about assumptions, validity, and soundness. And starting with assumptions, we want to ask, what is an assumption? It is an unexamined belief, something we might think without even realizing we think it. Um, but often our conclusions are drawn from assumptions that we have not thought about critically. So assumptions can be false, but as critical thinkers, we need to be attentive to assumptions because they can be incorrect or misguided. So let's look at a statement here and look at the assumptions associated with it. Here we have someone saying, Mr. Jones needs to watch out. There's a polar bear behind him. So the idea that Mr. Jones needs to watch out because there's a bear behind him there's a lot of assumptions at play here. For example, you could assume there's no wall between Mr. Jones and the bear instead of him being at the zoo where there's a protective cage. We can also assume that the polar bear isn't a baby bear and is a threat instead. We can also assume that the polar bear is very close behind Mr. Jones and not far away. We can assume that the polar bear is not afraid of Mr. Jones, that if Mr. Jones turned, it wouldn't run away. And we could also assume that it's a real polar bear, not a stuffed one. And also that it's alive and not just a uh, museum display. So there's a lot of possible assumptions at play just in that one statement. Now assumptions, when they're unstated, they, they're called implicit assumptions. And when they are stated, they're called explicit. But in either case, it's important to identify them and examine them because they work as underlying beliefs that structure arguments. And they can be very powerful. We need to understand them so that we can critically analyze uh, assumptions when we see them. So when we take premises for an argument, those are stated assumptions and they're used as reasons in an argument. If we join two premises together, two statements that are taken to be true, to produce a conclusion, then that is called a syllogism. So let's look at an example of a syllogism. We have a major premise that all human beings are mortal, a minor premise that Socrates is a human being, and the conclusion that Socrates is mortal. In this case, this is a deductive argument because the premises are true and they guarantee the conclusion. But what I want to show you next is uh, looking at the validity of an argument. So we can have a syllogism here and we can check it for validity. Validity is a tool that we use to evaluate deductive arguments. So we don't want to confuse validity with truth, however, because an argument cannot be true or false. It could be valid or invalid. And when we're looking at whether it is valid, we're not looking for whether it is true. We're looking to whether the argument is valid in the sense that the premises guarantee the truth of the conclusion. So to do that, we have to insert the word if here. What we're trying to do is see if the premises are true, would the conclusion follow of them? So if humans are immortal, we're taking that for a true statement, if they are, and if Iris Murdoch is a human, then it follows that then Iris Murdoch is immortal. So does that make sense? We're not looking for the truth of the argument, we're looking to see whether the conclusion follows logically from the premises before it. So again, validity has nothing to do with truth. It's only looking to see if the conclusion logically follows the premises. Now let's look at an invalid argument. For an argument to be invalid, the premises do not entail the truth of the conclusion. So we have premise one, all dogs have fur. Premise two, Mandy has a lot of fur. Our conclusion is that therefore Mandy is a dog. So if we look at this argument, 
the conclusion does not logically follow the premises. The fact that all dogs have fur, and Mandy has a lot of fur, doesn't lead to the idea that Mandy is automatically a dog. Mandy might be a cat, she might be a hamster, she might be a person. So um, in this case, the conclusion does not follow from the premises, and that makes it an invalid argument. So why does validity matter then? If, we're, if it's not a case of finding out the truth of the premises, why are, you, why are we trying to establish why an argument is valid? It's because it's used to determine whether or not an argument obeys valid inference rules or the laws of deductive logic. So we're ensuring that the inferences from the argument are good inferences to make. And that's very important when examining an argument to just see if there is a logical progression and connection of ideas. So next, let's move into sound arguments, because we don't just want to find out about the validity of arguments. We want to find out about the soundness. So the goal of an argument is to show a conclusion is true, and we want to make arguments that are more than just valid. So soundness, it only applies to deductive arguments, and in order to be sound, an argument has to meet two requirements. It has to be valid, and the premises of the argument must all be true. So again, let's look at an example. Premise one, all dogs are blue. Premise two, everything that is blue is a person. Conclusion, therefore, all dogs are people. So remember, for a sound argument, we need to both make sure that this is a valid argument, but that the premises are all true, right? So this argument does re meet the first requirement of being valid, because if all dogs were blue, and if everything that is blue is a person, then all dogs would be people. However, this argument needs to have true premises to be a sound argument. And we know that the premises are false. We know that all dogs are not blue. We know that everything that is blue is not a person. So in this case, it is not a sound argument because the premises are false, even though there is validity to the progression of the argument. Now next, let's look at true premises and a true conclusion. In this case, premise one says that all dead parrots are dead. That's a true statement. Premise two says parrots are not frogs. That is also a true statement. So we have two true premises here that fulfills one part of a sound argument now already. Then we have a, a conclusion that states Therefore, frogs exist. So that is also a true statement. Frogs do exist. However, this is not a valid argument. Even though the premises are true, the logic of the argument does not make sense, right? If all parrots are dead, dead parrots, and parrots are not frog, it, frogs, it does not follow that frogs exist. So the conclusion does not follow from the premises and that makes this an unsound argument, even though the premises are true. All right, so why does soundness matter? We want to be able to figure out which arguments are sound, because then the conclusion must be true if they are sound. And so that is a way to discover true conclusions in our arguments when, we, when an argument meets the test of soundness. So let's review. There are two types of assumptions, unstated or implicit assumptions, and stated or explicit assumptions. And assumptions work as underlying beliefs that structure arguments, and it's very important that we understand them as critical thinkers. Premises are stated assumptions that are used as reasons in an argument. And the joining of two of these to produce a third statement is called a syllogism. 
Now when we look at validity, it's a tool we can use to evaluate deductive arguments. Arguments can be valid or invalid, but not true or untrue. So when we're looking at an argument, we can look for its validity, but it has nothing to do with the truth of the argument itself. We're just looking as to whether or not an argument obeys the laws of deductive logic when we're looking for validity. However, when we look for soundness, we're looking for two requirements, that the argument must be valid and the premises of the argument are all true. So if the argument is sound, the conclusion must be true. So I hope this gives you some tools to examine arguments, to look at the assumptions, to examine for an argument's validity, and then finally to examine for its soundness.